Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, I've been out walking again this morning, and while I was out there, I went to a favorite spot and collected up some more loblolly pine needles. Take a look at this. All right, loblolly pine needles are in bundles of three, six to eight inches long. And if you'll notice, the needles are twisted all the way up the length. And most of the time, there's no resin in them. You would think there is. But uh, you can crush them up, you can process them up into a tinder bundle and never feel stickiness, never smell any pine resin. Even when they're burning, you never really smell that pine. So I think they're so reactive mostly because they're dry and the density of them. Now those rare occasions when you do find some that has a smell of pine resin in them, those ignite really, really fast. Some of these feel dry enough to ignite right now, but most of them are still damp. We'll try these, but pretty much there's a lot of moisture in them. And when I first get them, I dry them out, keep them in a plastic bag under the house. Now you might say they're always bone dry. Under their house, there's so much moisture when it rains, you can see the ground under the house is just absolutely wet, sometimes puddled up. So it is not a very dry environment under the house. So there's still a good bit of moisture in any of the tinder, any of the tools that I keep under the house for fire making, any of the bow drill sets. I can't even, I can't even keep bow drill and hand drill uh, sets under there anymore because there is so much moisture. So I just want, to, want you to know that I'm not dealing with bone dry tinder all the time. Let's see if this little bunch of pine needles is going to perform for us. I feel the mosquitoes biting my leg. I better get on with it. <laughs> uh, no big revelation. Damp pine needles, like any damp tender, is going to take forever to ignite. Let's see how they do after they sit in the sun a little while. We'll see you in about four hours. All right. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. And they are a whole lot drier than what they were. Let's go ahead and try some. See if there's any difference. Did you see where I had the annotation on the bottom of the video that said it took 47 tries with the ferro rod to ignite them when they still had just a little bit of moisture in them? 
those that I picked off the top of that of that uh, batch of pine needles, they were only slightly damp. I mean, I, they didn't feel damp at all. That's how how dry they were, and still it took 47 scratches of the ferro rod. Let's see how many scratches it takes now for these five tinder bundles. What a difference. What a difference four hours in the sun makes. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.